I Am Here. Just one of the songs on Virginia Hill's new CD, Truth and Love. And I'm so thankful she is here. I wonder how many more surprises her mom, Judy Buffum, has up her sleeve. Judy, come on and join us. I just want to remind folks who may be meeting both of you for the first time that uh, Judy has been one of our favorite singers for years. Many of you know her from what we call for years, Women Who Win, yeah. our conferences. Mm -hmm. Judy's an ordained minister. She served in leadership positions for over 30 years. Ooh, that ages me. <laughs> you haven't, you haven't, I, what did I say when you came in? So, you haven't changed a bit. I know, but I had to pay you to say that. No, you didn't. <laughs> uh, I want to say your your new husband, but it's really been nine years since nine years. you've been married to Keith. Yeah. Uh, Co-pastoring Crossfire Ministries Church yeah. in? Rockford, Michigan. Right in Michigan. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, we, I want you to tell us a story in just a moment about your connection with Women of Faith okay. Ministries and their conferences, uh -huh. uh, because that involves a story we know about, but we haven't heard your side of it. The loss of your son-in-law, Tammy Trent's husband, Trent. Yeah. But who's this? Isn't she beautiful? Virginia. This is Virginia. This is my yes. baby. This is my baby girl. One of five children. You have yes. five children. Well, with, with Keith. I have uh, three that I birthed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Did it all that was enough. <laughs> right. So there's a son we haven't met. Oh, wonderful son. Mm -hmm. He's my firstborn. Mm -hmm. Who is not involved in music. He loves music, but his heart and passion is to build the kingdom of God through business. So he's a wonderful uh, builder, mm -hmm. uh, manufactures homes, and, and uh, just does a, a beautiful job with that. But his heart is to make money to put into the kingdom. So he's mm -hmm. uh, got a real heart for Christian education. He has six kids, so he should have a heart for it. Wow. Yes. Yeah. yes. You did literally wait in the wings, mm -hmm. Virginia. And all the press mm -hmm. uh, information says you burst onto the scene. Oh. Uh, your first <laughs> CD, LOL, Laugh mm -hmm. Out Loud, mm -hmm. is now having its third mm -hmm. number come onto the mm -hmm. hit parade. Mm -hmm. It's done so well. Mm, thank you. That was about 2007, I think. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And, and you just came out of nowhere. And now, uh, Truth and Love. Yeah. And you write yeah. all the songs or mm -hmm. incorporate. Or arrange medleys, you know, worship medleys and take some, pull from the old hymns. I think there's such meat there for yeah. people. And um, I connect there. But you know what's interesting is God brought this back to memory for me that the first demo tape that I ever did was here in Canada, not far from the studio. Oh, good. And um, the producer is Stephen Marshall, and you know Stephen Marshall and Pam Thumb, who oh, are married. Yes. Stephen Marshall's <laughs> Canadian, and he's my producer on both projects. So, so we can take a little ownership. Yes, of your you success. can. <laughs> Thank you. I All love right. Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sparkling. Mm. It's just sparkly. It's so lovely to see you together, and you oh, see where the beauty you. comes from. Mm. Not far from the tree, that's for sure. Oh, you're so sweet, and Judy. Thank you're you. all over the world. Yeah, building still, the kingdom. Still traveling. Just got back from uh, Africa, from the Ivory Coast. Still trying to recoup a little bit from that, you know. Yeah. But um, it is wonderful to see what God is doing all over the world. People hungry for God. You know, um, they spoke a different language. They spoke French, you know. And um, so I had to work through an interpreter, which is uh, a little bit different for me. It slows really, things up a little. It slows things up. You know, you're excited and you're holding your pose there, you know. But... Um, yeah, <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. But it was, it was exciting, it was wonderful. Many got saved. My husband and I have a heart to plant churches. And so we'd planted a church over there. And so we were able to see the building that uh, we were a part of and to put into the people, took rice over and just wanted to feed them in a natural way too but just to share the love of Jesus with them. It was a wonderful experience, just wonderful. And they love music, so I'll bet they you were it. so the right stuff when you started <laughs> to sing. Now we have told the story, I, I think we've heard it uh, uh, probably a couple of times with Tammy here, your daughter. And how many years ago was this tragedy? It was 9-11. Of course it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course it was, mm -hmm. because it was the day before 9-11 yes. that you got the news. Mm -hmm. This would have impacted both of you, and we yes. haven't heard yeah. your side of yeah. the story. Share that with us and uh, how you responded, and, and what has come out of it. Mm. Go ahead, Virginia. Okay. I heard oh. you take that area. Yeah. Um, 
you know, we, we were, it was, uh, you know, the 10th, and we were all on planes all across the country trying to get to, to Jamaica because we, we didn't know. They just at that point could not find Trent. You didn't know he We died. didn't know. No. no, we didn't know. And so um, it was the, it, well, it, actually, it was the morning of 9 11. Here's your that beautiful <laughs> sister, Tammy. <laughs> oh, and yes. Her husband, mm -hmm. Trent. And they'd been married how long? They were married Six, 11 years. 11, 11 years. Mm -hmm. Vacationing in Jamaica and doing yes, ministry in ministry. Jamaica. That's right. That's right. So, so you were trying to get yes, and, to where yes, they were. and it was 9/11. I'm sorry ex that we were on, on the, the runways plane. trying to get to Tammy, and, and we were grounded yeah. because of that. They were in Chicago. I was doing mm -hmm. some television work in St. Louis, and sitting in the airport and seeing all the scurrying around. It's like what is going on? Yeah. And uh, so in the midst of that. Um, it, it was just a, a shock. Everything was a shock. And of course, we, we believed that, you know, he was going to be found. I mean, yeah. that's the hope that you have, you know. So we didn't, we didn't even hear the news that they had found him until I, I finally rented a car to get from St. Louis to Chicago to where they were. And it was on the way there that I heard the news that he was with Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it was a hard time. Ta uh, Virginia has always been very close with Trent. He mm -hmm. was uh, he was as close as her brother. So mm -hmm. um, it was very hard on her. She went to be with Tammy every weekend. She would fly mm -hmm. in there midweek and then be there for the weekend. And and uh, mm -hmm. I took a year off from ministry That's as well. That's huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because you're such a busy woman and you, you really took that year to just be there for she Tammy. She was my priority. That's right. Yeah. Now something amazing mm -hmm. happened out of this devastation. Yes. A door opened first for Tammy. Yeah. Which was a prayer that Trent had for her. Yeah. He had said to her, honey, I really would love to see you connect with women of faith. I just really think that, that that's that next step for you. He loved to see her grow in the things mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. She was always pushing her gently toward that, to grow, to be a stronger woman of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when this happened, she'd taken the year off, and uh, then they called her. And um, she traveled three years, and I traveled with her. Uh, it was a tough, tough message. Mm -hmm. But so many people have been touched, mm -hmm. encouraged. Tammy uh, learned something about herself. She learned about her own relationship with God. That it is the strength of God that can get you through anything. She said, Mom, I wanted you to be there so bad. I wanted you to hold me and be there and have the family be there. But she said, I did learn that Jesus wanted to be there with me, that he would be the one that I would turn to, I'd find the comfort from, the strength from. And I have seen her emerge into just a very strong, vibrant woman of God. And um, Isn't it's that an, true of all of our oh, suffering, mm -hmm. that we find it is. new things in him yes, that's right. and more about ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, And really, this, the words you sang, uh, I am here. That was written out of that experience. So, just coming yeah, broken and needy right, and finding right. that he is enough. Mm -hmm. Sometimes right. we just have to show up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't have the strength to do anything else but just to show up and say, God, I'm here. Yeah. You were invited to take on a special role because you showed up for <laughs> Women of Faith. You were there for Tammy. But what happened as a result? What a shock. It was uh, Mary Graham as the president of Women of Faith. And we went to her room on her birthday and wanted to take a little gift to her. And as we were sitting there, um, she just asked if her words were, Lana uh, is the prayer chaplain for Women of Faith and has been for years an intercessor there. And she said, we would like you to be our Lana for Revolve. Now Revolve is a ministry to teenage girls. It's amazing. And uh, a little Bible too. My daughter oh, has the Revolve. Yes, yeah, yeah. Looks yes. like a magazine. Yeah. Yes. Teen Mag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great. And the, yeah, because it really, the kids can relate to it. It's in their language. They can really understand it. And um, so, um, they asked if I would do it. I felt very unworthy to do that. Um, Pastor, chaplain, uh, it all fits, Judy. That's I, right. But you just think, oh, I just, I don't know if I can really do this. You know, I called my husband right away and, 
and uh, we prayed and he said, I really believe this is God. Mm -hmm. And I haven't regretted it once. It's, uh, it'll be going into the fifth year. Uh, that I've had the privilege of traveling with them every weekend. They minister between five and 10,000 girls a weekend. And I'm there for the ministerial staff, for the ones that are uh, going on the platform. and Keeping and them, helping to keep them topped up. Yeah, and spanking their little spiritual bottoms if they need it. <laughs> I love it. So it's great. Thank you. And you know what I love about your journey, Virginia, mm -hmm. is that this is a season of life yeah. where your, your motherhood is more liberated. Right. Children are independent. Yes. They've reached an age where you can be a traveling woman. That's right. That's right. And I, I have, you know, sometimes it's hard to be on like the landing pad and waiting and waiting to take off, you know, but I really feel like I had to get to a place of maturity before God could really speak his message through mm -hmm. me. You know? So you were, this dream was always there. It, it always